Hey guys, this is Cave Cranium from Team Bialy here, and I'm gonna do balance predictions. Uh, so I have my handy dandy little paper here, and I'm gonna go through what I believe is just, you know, too good. Uh, for band, I'm gonna put Gateway. Uh, simply because they have an OTK with Gateway. Six Sam's have an OTK with Gateway. It's too, too, too overpowered. Um, it's an instant win condition for Six Sam's. Uh, so, yeah, and we don't like instant win conditions, but, you know, they, need, they only have one, and, like, that's, everyone complain about it, but, like, if they draw that one, you know, give up, so, yeah, that's why I'm putting gateway gone. Um, the second card that I have banned is One Day of Peace. Let's stop promoting, like, unfair solitaire decks going on me, like, like, and there's another card that I took out of the OTK building deck that I don't like in the deck either. So we'll talk about that one later. But that's my two band cards. Um, I mean, I know Pot of Avis is broken, and I know Monster Reborn is completely hated. Because, you know, Call of the Haunters at three. But, you know, I just don't see, like... Like, if you, if you lose to a Monster Reborn... And you let that monster reborn go through, then it's your fault that you lost. If you did not destroy BLS when it hits the field, then it's your fault that you lost. If you don't negate the dark hole or a heavy storm, it's your fault that lost. You know, I can understand why Power of Avis is a bad card, but like, you get one in your deck. And yes, if you top deck it, there's a good chance of going to win. But you are putting back five cards. Let's say you have you're playing Dino Rabbit and you're putting back five cards, and all you all the monsters you have in your graveyard were five monsters and you know a couple of spells, and you draw into Monster Reborn, and your opponent doesn't have anything good to get over their field. Sorry, Pot of Avarice, you know, too good. Uh, so let's talk about things that are going to one. One of Magician, yeah, I play wind-ups, and I, I want one of Magician to go to one. Uh, cause it's too destructive for the game, getting out instant Shockmasters. Do da 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 dum Um, Atlantean Dragoons, uh, ability to search any single Atlantean, Mermail, or Moonling Glacier from your deck? Oh my god, really? Like... It, it's just, should not be anywhere in this format. It's just too, too OP, I guess. Uh, and then, I want Rekindling to go to one, even though I, I'm i trying to play Fire Kings and Fire Fist in the same deck. Uh, I, I, I know how bad that card is, so either Rekindling goes to one... Or ban Quasar. And Quasar is not getting banned. Because Rekindling is a dollar. Quasar's 25. Yeah. So Rekindling to one. Uh, Snow. To one. Uh, card is too good. Yeah. Dark Wolves still exist, Konami. And they hurt game one, but game two and game three, they're easy. Uh, and then I starred this one because I think it's too early for this card to go because we haven't seen the po full potential of the deck. But, like, I, 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 I have a reason why this card should go. Tanky, the searcher of Fire Fist. From my knowledge of Yukio, Rhoda was put at one. That searches out any level four warrior type monster. Tanky is at three, and it searches out any beast warrior. Hmm, let's see the decks that can play it. Fire Fist, Fire King, Kawaki Marus. Yeah, deck still exists. Gladiator Beast. Yeah, let, let's put Bestiaria 2, guys. Yeah, I, I really do like Bestiaria 2, but, like, not gonna happen if Tanky's still alive. Uh, let... And the next card is another card that's the same position as Tenki. Orpheon. P 
please, Koinami. Evil Swan Orpheon is not healthy for this game. It has the ability to search out of forbidden lands for all your monsters? Like, why? Like, the deck is too good already. And then give it a card that says bye bye to Chaos Dragons, Dark Wolves, um, let's see here Fire King, Gurnix. Sorry. You know, kills all those cards, and then gets a free Forbidden Land for all your monsters. And it and it, it can one over Stardust. Yeah. Too good. Uh, Trish. Please, I mean, listen to me. The only two decks that I can possibly see Trish being running that is competitive, you know, I don't care for plants right now, uh, you know, is Agents. Good deck, but, like, yeah, whatever. And, uh, Romel. Okay, we have Solemn Judgment. Solemn Warning. Uh, Lagia, Dalka. Um, uh, what else do we got? We have Valor, Breakthrough Skill. We have Phoenix Chain. There is no reason why you are not playing enough option. If if you get hit by it, then you're not playing enough, enough options to stop it. And I seriously suggest you should change your deck. Or change out your deck. Uh, to chew, I have Black Whirlwind, Mizuki, and Hope for Escape. Rabbit can stay at two. It's the best anti-meta meta deck right now. So, stay at two forever. <laughs> no, but I think that will go to one, like, the format after this one. And to the three, uh, I just wrote down random cards. I put Coyote back to three. Kalute. You know, Black Wings are dead. Sorry. I could put Back of back to two, and Coyote back to three. Because that deck hasn't done anything. Tsukiyomi. I mean, like... I would love to see if there's some... Tsukiyomi OTK... That can kill your opponent... In eight, like... Eight turns, but it's an instant win, you know, like, whatever. It's just like, Tsukiyomi hasn't done anything. And then in Part of Duality 3, because, you know, it's, uh, it's a splashable card in decks that need draw power. Decks such as, I believe, like, I think Fire Fists need more, like, draw power kind of stuff. I know they have Searching with Tanky and, you know, you know, bear and gorilla, but like, let's just put Potter out back to three. It's not hurting the game. Being at two, like, I know people in Japan are complaining. It's too good. So let's put it to one. Why is Potter Duality so broken? You get to see possibly what your opponent is playing by the top three cards of the deck, and you know that they have one card in their hand. Plus, they cannot special summon this turn. And you can only activate once per turn? It's technically a... It's a... It's a mil... It's a zero. You activate the card, and you get one card to hand. So you're going plus zero. But you gain advantage, because you know one card in their hand. You And you have the possibility of knowing what deck your opponent's playing. Why are people complaining about it? Why? Like, okay, so that's it. Uh, if you're complaining why well, I'm not talking about Rabbit or, like, anything else, uh, they're not hitting Rabbit. Like, Rabbit is fine where it is because they don't want the Hanzo tins to stop selling because even today, they're still selling. Yeah. Maxi to four, everybody, now. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah. Uh, wind-ups, you know, I can still see them play. Uh, 6Ms, they can play without the gateway. Uh, uh, Vers, or Evil Swarm, they can play with one Orpheon and still be a decent competitive deck. Uh, kill everything with, you know, stall or auto win condition decks. Uh, Black Wings, whatever. Uh, Lavels, got to stop, please.
this. Alright, it's been 10 minutes, whatever, blah.